Good morning, guys. Today we're going to be doing a Oaxaca City food tour. And we usually plan these videos, but Oaxaca has so many famous foods, so many street foods, so many amazing local markets that we're just going to wing it. We're in our first market and we're going to try something that is super famous here at a really famous place that was highly recommended by locals. So let's start. Nice and sweet. Hot in this cold morning. I'm almost done with one of my little already. I'm very hungry. We haven't had breakfast. But what I'm is it's like super famous here in Oaxaca and it is just like a corn tortilla, like a little bit thicker than a regular tortilla. And they just put like this sauce that they have in like these giant mortars here in front of us. And it's amazing and so flavorful and spicy, delicious. And they put like local cheese on top. I don't know if you like close it or you just like eat it with a look at other people how they eat it. I've seen some people like rip them. But this place is very, very famous for the mamelas and we had to come here first. I almost ate it all. Mm. What is that? The spice. I don't know, but the sauce is incredible. It's really spicy. Like my lips are on fire, but in a good way. You have to be aware that these also have this thing called asiento, and they put it everywhere here in Oaxaca, right? In like every meal, and it's um, pork fat. So they look vegetarian, but if you're vegetarian, you really have to be aware that you have to ask sing asiento, which means without pork fat. But to me, I mean, it tastes really good. That was so good. We made the best decision doing this food tour, hitting the streets of Oaxaca, the local markets. This is where you're gonna find the best food in Oaxaca and this market smells amazing. Sometimes it doesn't smell that great, but there's a lot, a lot of food to try here. So we're gonna walk around and see what we find next. So that sign right there is basically indicating the security here in the market. It says if someone is robbing from you, scream very loud and we will beat the hell out of them. <laughs> this market is amazing. So there are like five major markets here in Oaxaca City. This is by far our favorite. So it's a little bit away from the city center, but it is so cool. Like all, all the outside area, it's like filled with like produce and flowers. And in the inside, there's like a bunch of restaurants and a million things that you can eat. And also bonus points because all the prices are displayed and everything costs like a third of how much it costs in, in the center, right? It's a lot cheaper and it's a lot cooler. It's massive. The leche? Okay, no. Ah, okay. What is my boy? The leche. That's rico. Oh, no. Si. Sí. The leche. Okay. Uno de leche. Si. Sí. ¿Y eso qué es? ¿Es concha? Ajá. Uh -huh. Pan dulce. Pan dulce. Okay. Pan dulce. It's a little girl. Okay. Gracias. Si, por favor. So hot chocolate is one of those things that might seem surprising to have here in Oaxaca, but actually chocolate is from this region. That's why it's super popular. We also see everyone drinking it. The mornings in Oaxaca are a bit chilly, so it works out perfectly. So we have the hot chocolate, we have the pan dulce. The lady said to dip it. And this is just like a very, very soft sugary bread. Make it nice and soggy in the hot chocolate. Mm. 
A very nice breakfast treat. The hot chocolate is very chocolatey. I think they also put cinnamon in here. This is very tasty. The pan dulce, a little bit too sweet for me. Very dulce. Muy dulce. De dulce. Oh. Uh, sí, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hay? ¿De dulce? De dulce, de piña. De, de piña, ah, ok. Qué rico. Uh -huh. ¿Qué precio tengo? 15 pesos. Gracias. Igual. We missed the time for tamales. They open at 7 a.m. So they don't have like the savory ones, but we're gonna try a sweet one, pineapple tamal, which are very popular here, right? The sweet ones. So the first time that we've ever yeah. had a sweet tamal. It's exciting. So we're at this market called Mercado de la Merced and this was highly recommended to have like local traditional Oaxacan foods and we were on our way to have like the most iconic dish in Oaxaca basically in Oaxaca City and we saw this and it's crazy because this is also super famous in Oaxaca but I've never had like a sweet tamal. Let's see what pineapple tamal tastes like. I know exactly what this tastes like now. It tastes like upside down pineapple cake. Yummy. <laughs> My mom makes really good upside down pineapple cake. Hola, ¿tiene mole? Mole. Mole coloradito, mole estofado, mole almendrado. ¿Y mole negro? Mole negro. Okay. Okay. Una silla. Gracias. Let's talk about it. Oh, you order it. What? <laughs> you said a moment that you order it. <laughs> it's my accent, I guess. They don't understand my Spanish here in Oaxaca. I don't think they're used to the American accents. Ahí está la filosofía, jóvenes. Gracias, señor. Wow. ¿Cuál, cuál es cuál? Negro, negro? coloradito Ajá. y el almendrado. ¿Y cómo son diferentes? ¿Todos llevan chocolate o no? Todo, okay. este, este no. Okay. Este, este es de nuez, Almandri, de este almendra. nuez almendra, Ajá. pasa, aceitunas. Pasa. Oh, okay, okay. Este, chocolate, chocolate. Ah, ok. Gracias. Oh. Gracias. Wow. That is a beautiful plate of mole. A lot more than we anticipated to eat right now, but it looks very good. I'm starting with the mole negro. I think that's the most famous one here in Oaxaca. These things are all drenched in sauce. I can't wait to try this. It smells so good. It smells so good. It's so cool how it's all like separated with their unique sauce. That is really good. I think the moles that we try from back home are very chocolatey. This one has chocolate flavor, but it has way more like burnt spice and there's way more action in it. It's very, very good. Have you been converted to mm -hmm. a mole person? At least a mole negro? Yes. Five stars. In Oaxaca. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this mole that I'm gonna try now, first time we've heard of it, it's like with almonds, olives, raisins, I think tomatoes. No chocolate, never, never heard of something like this. I'm gonna try it by itself with a little bit of rice first. Put like some fresh like cheese and parsley on top. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Oh my God. Just one bite. No, this is good. Like how do they do this? I don't know how they do this. This is amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dance worthy. Let's try the taco now. I think it has like chicken inside or 
Wow, that's very tender. Okay. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's very tender. Yeah, it's good. Try <laughs> the taco. <laughs> No, that's Gracias. Gracias. She's selling chapulines. Chapulines. We were on our way to another market, but all of a sudden we see this lady selling this indigenous drink that looks gross. Like, honestly, it doesn't look beautiful at all, but it's supposed to be really good and it's very traditional from Oaxaca. You, I think you can only find it here. So let's try it. Okay, now I'm gonna put ¿Qué tienes? ¿Qué, ¿Con qué se prepara? El tejate está hecho de maíz, cacao, Ajá. rosita de cacao y la almendra de mamey. Oh, okay. Todo lo que contiene está cocido y tostado. Y la base que le agregamos es azúcar para endulzar oh, la bebida. Oh, okay, ok, ok. Wow. This is by far the strangest drink I've ever seen. It doesn't look great, honestly, but people say that it's really, really good. It looks like it has like that kinetic sand on top. Let's see how it tastes like. They have they. Mmm. It's like nutty. And a hint of chocolate. It's nice and sweet and it's also like nice and cold. I didn't think it was gonna be cold. This is really good. This is very refreshing. Like gives you energy because of the chocolate. Pretty is it weird? Not really. The the text like you can like feel the texture weirdly enough like the top like you can you just like drink it <laughs> <laughs> i do like it though it's good it's awesome yeah very refreshing that lady mm. was so nice sweetheart yeah <laughs> Gracias. Sí, caballero. Gracias. Gracias, Gracias. Chao. Buen provecho. Gracias. Hasta luego. Provecho. Look at that. And the event de tuna. This is tuna fish ice cream. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what did you say it was? It's like, a, I think, a flower from the cactus tree plant. Only here in Oaxaca. Very good. It it's kind of like amazing. strawberry. Oh, this is really good. It's like a snow cone. And it tastes a little bit like strawberry, but almost like more delicious. I think Oaxaca is one of the few places where you start your day with hot chocolate. And in the afternoon, you have to go for ice cream. But this morning it was like 45 degrees, we were freezing. Now it's like 85 degrees. Perfect temp for a tuna ice cream. And at night, you go for a skull to warm yourself up again. It's a fine idea. So this giant thing is called Atalayuda and after mole, this is probably the second most famous thing in all of Oaxaca City and as you can see it's massive. I have no idea how to eat this. It looks amazing though. We order with flor de calabaza which is pumpkin seed flour I think. Pumpkin well, let's see. Pumpkin flour, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I don't think I can like lift it up. There's no way this is how you eat this. This is not it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any of like the middle. I think maybe let me just try like this. This is really good. It's like, it has like a, pork fat, which is called asiento here in Mexico. So that's the first layer. And then they put black beans and vegetables like lettuce, avocado, tomatoes, the pumpkin seeds or pumpkin flour, whatever. 
some cheese, which is very, very famous here in Oaxaca. It's called quesillo. Very, very popular here. The sauce is nice and spicy. Very gracious eater. Now it's time to have one of the foods I've been most excited to try. This is so good. This is called torta de quesillo and torta is basically like a Mexican sandwich and they're very popular all over Mexico but here in Oaxaca they're a little bit different because they use this round bread and this one has the local cheese called quesillo which is delicious. We've been having so much of this cheese the past month and I am so excited to try it because it's like perfectly grilled. This looks so good. I thought this was gonna be like a grilled cheese but I guess it's kind of like a Mexican grilled cheese because it has like a layer of like beans I'm sure with like pork fat, avocado, like the spicy carrots that they use here a lot and the cheese is delicious. We have to try grilling the cheese at home. This is really good. I think we're gonna have another one. Two more. <laughs> we went for it. I know it seems like we eat a lot and we do eat a lot. We usually share. So this is dinner. It's fine. Whatever. No judging. How excited are you right now? I cannot wait. I love cantinas. Look at these doors. How can you not love this stuff? Come on in. Salud. We couldn't go on a Oaxaca food tour without having mezcal. This is one of our favorite beverages and it's famous here in Oaxaca. I think 85% is produced in this region. It's super smoky, delicious. It's served with these orange slices that have sal de gusano, so that's worm salt, and there's crushed worms in there. I think some like tahin, chili salt. It's super smoky, but you kind of like bounce it out with the worm salt. Cheers. Oof. Never a shot. Mm. Never a shot. Just a few sips, mix it up with the worm salt. I really love this stuff. And we specifically came to a cantina because we love cantinas. They also have tasting rooms here, but we fell in love with cantinas in the Yucatan. And if you guys like Oaxaca videos, I'm gonna put a video here, not videos, video. I'm gonna put it here so you guys can watch that next. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys in Guadalajara. Guadalajara, Guadalajara. Cheers. Oh, you're ready for it. Oh, now I, no, I'll do now another. Bye.